Hey there all craft cider lovers. Thanks for joining me. Time for another review. Time to go to Sweden, guys. We're going back to Frukt Stereo. Fruit Stereo. For a big another big bottle. We're taking a look tonight at their pulp. 2020 edition. There you go. And they say sparkling fruit wine, pet nut, cider made out of apples, Coxa Ranch, and Gloucester. And they say, uh, having our own little paradise outside Shevik, right by the Baltic Sea on the east coast of Skåne. Freestanding trees planted in the 1940s and today fermented without pesticides or herbicides. The apples were skin macerated for three weeks. The pulp of the apples were then pressed again and fermented with indigenous yeast, par- par- partially in amphora, unfiltered and without additives. 7% ABV, 750 milliliter bottle, clear glass bottle, thick necked bottle cap, green. And as you can see, it's absolutely chock full of sediments there from the pulp. So, with that said, guys, without any further ado, let's pop the top, see what we have. Okay. It's off. Right. There we go. Okie dokie. There you go. Give it a quick aggressive pour. Uh, Straw, golden color. Very, very pale golden there. Yeah, man, good deal of carbonation, very lively, as it should be in a cider. Yeah, man, that's a nice presentation, isn't it? Nice looking aroma. Very acidic. Yeah, very, very acidic, white white wine-like. It's very, almost like vinegar. It is vinegar. Yeah, like white wine vinegar, funky apples, very astringent, funky, sour. Oh, man, very, very acidic. Yeah, fruity, citrusy. Oh, that white wine vinegar stands out. Yeah, man. So with that said, guys, we will just have to dive in. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Oh, oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's the man. That's really nice. Now, uh, if you were to believe only the aroma there, that the thing that you got on the nose, you would think that this is pure white wine vinegar. But it's not. It's actually, yeah, it's very sour. It's very acidic. Uh, but it's got a nice apple sweetness to it as well. It's got a nice astringency coming through. Lingering, strong flavors. Very, very strong Oh, there's just it's complex. There's just a lot of things going on. It's sweet. It's sour. It's acidic. It's astringent. White wine, white wine vinegar, citrus, apple marmalade. A lot of things going on here. Really, really nice. Uh, yeah, man, look at that presentation right there. Oh, yeah, man. I really like that. I really like that complexity. It's not just sour and acidic. I know some people like it that way. I don't. I want a little bit of apple sweetness there. I want kind of the, the you know, all the dimensions of the flavors of a cider there. The sweetness from the apples, the natural sweetness, but I want that fermented acidity as well. And astringency. 
this what this cider has it all basically it's got all those lovely traits going for it all those characteristics there it's very very sweet uh, or sorry not sweet it's very very complex i would say not a cider for new beginners guys uh not at all uh this i would not recommend this one to uh, someone who's new to the cider scene mm. Oh. oh, a lot of citrus notes coming through now. Yeah, apple marmalade, citrus, sweetness, astringency, tons of complexity, white wine, vinegar galore in there. This is a solid. You don't notice the ABV, 7%. Yeah, guys. So another solid from Frucht Stereo. This is their Pulp 2020 edition, as you can see there. 750 milliliter bottle, 7% ABV. Uh, all the goodness in there, complexity. Uh, for me, this is a straight up 4 out of 5. Well done. Thank you for watching.